Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. Today, we are going to talk about how to construct a relative frequency histogram for a data set. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So here is the problem. The following data represent fuel efficiency, miles per gallon of a sample of 30 vehicles. So we have the class boundaries. For example, the first class is from 7.5 to 12.5. The frequency or the count in that class is number three, is three. So there are three data points between 7.5 and 12.5 miles per gallon. The next class is from 12.5 to 17.5. And the count in that class of frequency is five. Similarly, the next class, the count of frequency is 15. That is between 17.5 and 22.5. The frequency for the fourth class between 22.5 and 27.5 is five. And the frequency for the last class, which is between 27.5 to 32.5 is two. So we add up all the frequencies, the sum of the frequency, that symbol before small f, sum of the frequency that indicates sum. It's Greek capital S called sigma. So sigma f is equal to n. N is the sample size is 30. Okay, then I create a new column, which is relative frequency, which is F over N. That is frequency or count of each class divided by total frequency. So for example, the relative frequency of the first class is three divided by 30 is 0.1. Relative frequency of the second class is five divided by 30, 0.167. And the relative frequency of the third class is 15 divided by 30 is 0.5. Relative frequency of the fourth class is five divided by 30, 0.167. And the relative frequency of the fifth class is two divided by 30 or 0 0.067. Then I add up all the decimal relative frequency, 0.1 plus 0.167 plus 0.5 plus 0.167 plus 0 0.067 it adds up to one or 100%. Now, what exactly is relative frequency? Uh, let's take a class. Let's take the third class, 17.5 to 22.5. The relative frequency of that class is 0.5. Now, if I multiply 0.5 by 100%, I shift the decimal two places to the right and becomes 50%. That means 50% of the entire data set falls between 17.5 and 22.5, okay? So that is the meaning of relative frequency. What percentage of the entire data set falls in each class? Now I make the relative frequency histogram in the bottom chart. So I have relative frequency on the vertical axis, axis which starts from zero and in increments of 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so forth. I have the class boundaries or the different classes of data on the horizontal axis. So the first class is from 7.5 to 12.5. Next one is from 12.5 to 17.5 and so forth. Notice the width of each of these classes is same. Later on, you calculate the class width, which is uh, the lower class boundary of the second class, which is 12.5 minus the lower class boundary of the first class, 7.5. 12.5 minus 7.5 is five. Also, the upper class boundary of the second class, 17.5 minus the upper class boundary of the first class, 12.5. 17.5 minus 12.5 is five. So the class width of each class is five. That is why the width of each of these classes is same as five. Now on top of these, each of these classes, we draw a vertical rectangle, as you see in the relative frequency histogram. The heights of the rectangles, vertical rectangles, is equal to the relative frequency. Why? Because we have relative frequency on the vertical axis. 
So for example, the first class, 7.5 to 12.5, the relative frequency is 0.1. So I draw a vertical rectangle of height 0.1 between 7.5 and 12.5. The relative frequency of the second class is 0.167. So between 12.5 and 17.5 on the horizontal axis, I draw a vertical rectangle of height 0.167. And similarly, the height of the third rectangle, which is between 17.5 and 22.5 is 0.5. So the heights of each rectangle represent the relative frequency in each class. And the width of each of the rectangle is same, is equal to the class width is equal to five. This diagram where the adjacent vertical rectangles are touching each other, there's no gap between each class is called relative frequency histogram. What is the idea of doing this? We want to do, construct the relative frequency histograms. So for example, we want to find out which class has the maximum percentage or maximum relative frequency or the highest height. And that is between 17.5 and 22.5. That means the average or the center of the data set is false between 17.5 and 22.5. So basically the relative frequency histogram gives us an idea of the spread of the distribution, of the shape of the distribution, of the center of the distribution and so forth, okay? Here you notice that the class between 17.5 to 22.5 has the highest relative frequency of 0.5. And there are two classes to the left of this. This class is called the median class or the model class because it has the highest relative frequency. This, in this class, the mean, median, and mode will fall. So on the left of the median class, the central class, there are two uh, groups of data on, two, two classes of data on the right of the central class that is between 17.5 and 22.5. There are two groups of data or two classes of data. This histogram is more or less a, symmetric, it's almost symmetric because the left half is equal to the right half. Okay, and I will stop here today. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to write me a comment. Please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week with new problems. And please like my video if you like it. I'll appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and take care of yourself. Okay, so I'll stop here today.